Watch out for your sweet rolls, everyone, because I'm getting <laughs> tipsy. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. I am Kurt and Davina, and we are here with Noelle Brandmeier, the creator and genius behind Wine and Game Pairing. So Noelle has a blog, an Instagram, mm -hmm. a Twitter, mm -hmm. and it's all dedicated to pairing video games with wine. How did it start? Where did you begin? How did you come up with the idea? Oh my goodness. I like to drink wine. Okay. And I like playing video games. Sweet. I really wish there was um, smell of vision with video okay. games, but the second best thing you can get is wine because it has a little bit of scent and a little bit of taste. I gave her a couple games and asked her to pair something with those games. So first off, I like wine quite a bit. So when I learned of this, I was like, ah! Two things that I love. However, I'm also quite ignorant and do not know that much about it, so I'm also gonna be relying on you to educate me okay. a little bit as we go. I'm still learning too. Okay. We talked about Skyrim once or twice on my channel, maybe. Noelle pitched Skyrim and she decided to pair this, whatever this is. This is a mead by 810, 810, I don't know what they say. I'm gonna say 810 Mead Works. So there is a local meadery in Medina. So a meadery, <laughs> a meadery makes mead, which is a honey wine. Not meat. Not meat. Okay. Not meadery. Okay. That's a good, I've had that joke a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like it though. Okay, fine, fair <laughs> enough. So this one specifically, um, it has like a little bit of an oaky taste to it and it's still sweet, but not overly sweet. Uh, it's traditionally a, a Viking, Drink. Why is that? I, you know, I should really do my research. No, that's fine. Out. Maybe somebody can help us. Um, I don't know, the Vikings drank honey wine and it was probably easy to make and lasted a long time. I feel like men of today would be like, I don't drink sweet wine. Exactly. I don't drink sweet drinks. I drink fire yeah. and ash and a glass <laughs> and then I eat the glass. But in this case, the Vikings apparently love mead and there's always the, the dudes are always walking around Skyrim being like, I'd be a lot happier with a belly full of mead. Yeah. So now we're gonna taste this. I also poured a lot. Do we have a bucket to spit in? Maybe. Drink it. I know I'm gonna like it. I don't know about you. You could subtly spit it back into the glass. <laughs> the dragonborn <laughs> has spoken to the first mead drink. Is there a specific thing I do? No, you can, you can smell it. Does it smell like honey? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It smells like alcohol and honey. Is there a thing that I'm supposed to do? No. Okay. I mean, you could do the... <coughs> <laughs> I'm sitting by a fire mm -hmm. and I'm sitting with Carjo and, uh, oh God, what's the dog's name? Wait, you have a dog? Well, there's this one specific dog. Who talks like that? Barbus, that's it. Oh, Barbus, Barbus, Barbus. Okay, mm -hmm. one more step. I can yeah. get this right. <laughs> I'm sitting by a fire. Carjo is by my side. And Barbus is talking with a snark and sarcasm. Yeah, this feels, this feels right. Full disclosure, my face gets super red when I drink. It's embarrassing and I have trouble breathing. So I probably have like an <laughs> allergy or something. So this might be the last- Sounds like an allergic <laughs> This might be the last video I ever make. You were saying most of them are sweeter than this. Yeah. I like that it's not that sweet. Yeah, I do too. Other meads that I've had, are, it's like drinking slightly more liquid honey. Okay. So this is, this is like really this. nice. Do you like it? I do very much. Oh really? Yes. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like what I just did was sacrilegious. Why? Because I just like gulped it. No. Okay. Mm -mm. You can do whatever you want. <sighs> Watch out for your sweet rolls, everyone, because I'm getting <laughs> tipsy. I should finish this one. <laughs> well, you can take your time. <laughs> All right, so next up, we have this game. So I don't know anything. Okay, that's, a, that's false. I'm not very versed in, what would this be considered? Board game. Board, I mean, a, a board game. <laughs> But since I know nothing about this, tell me why this particular game. This is one of my favorite board games. The story is you're, you're a traveler in Japan and you're just traveling down the road of Takedo and you're just getting souvenirs and you're stopping at hotels and having dinner. It's very nice and it's pretty. I really like the, the graphic design on it. So you mentioned that you love the art and that's interesting because you are an artist and not just 
any kind of artist, but you work at a video game studio. Yeah, I work at Working Man Interactive, which is just that way. Uh, I do 2D art and animation. I do a lot of animation. That's really what I specialize in. And today you brought... It's a Nagori Sake. It's really sweet um, and it's easy to drink. Okay. All right. Okay, ready? This smells like Marmite. Marmite. So yeasty. Yeah, Yeast. okay. Okay. Yeah. And I love Marmite. I don't know if I have I love Marmite. Intriguing. Does it taste like what you thought it would? I've had sake before. Mm -hmm. But I definitely get a rice thing. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of rice milk. It's creamy. Yeah, so it's creamy. I'm a traveler on Togato Street. Road. 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 Place. Place. I'm a traveler on Togato Road. And I'm sipping rice drink. <laughs> that's interesting. I guess that's the very polite way of me saying I don't know if I just like Do you like regular slam sake? Slam damn skibbity bop. I think so. I think I just need I think I've just haven't had something like it before. Mm -hmm. Good. And the last one is a very important one. And that is Grim Fandango. And it's very tiny little set of the other ones. And this is the very one that I got back in 1998. You should have it framed. I was thinking about black, getting a black box for it, but at the same time, I kind of want it like to wither away with yeah. me. And you brought two ones. I did. So we have... Chronic Cellars is the winery. Okay. And then Purple Paradise is the... I dig this one already. Wine. Just based on the label. Right? A big part of Grim Fandango is crime and corruption and the idea of the dice in the eyes is very relevant to some things that happen in the game. And then the next one we have is a Zinfandel yes. by Bone Shaker. And Noelle has uh, positioned me with choosing yes. what wine I think is best appropriate for this game. Why Zinfandel for both? Mostly aesthetic, but also Zinfandel works because Zinfandels tend to have like a more woody, smoky kind of flavor. And I remember like... What, Manny Calavera? Yeah, he he's smokes like a cigar, smoking. right? Or he smokes cigarettes. He okay. smokes cigarettes. So I was going like, oh, tobacco could be a note in a Zinfandel. To the ends of our lives. <laughs> I get the wood. Mm -hmm. It's definitely fruity too. It's fruity. It's sweet. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit of that like tongue yes. tannin kind of feel. What's that? So <laughs> tannin is when um, your tongue kind of feels like like the water is getting sucked out of it. Oh, so is that so what creates like, that dry mouth type of feeling? Yeah, that's tannins. Got it. Okay, I do feel that. <laughs> that was a good pop. Ooh, I like that this one is like kind of silky looking. That's a lot. I like this. Yeah. It's because it's way more subtle. Mm-hmm. It's fruitier. Cherry. Mm-hmm. Cherry. Okay, so now to decide what one is more appropriate. Now, my bias goes to this one because I like it. Mm -hmm. And inherently, I like Grim Fandango, so to want to compare two things that I like, I would choose this one. Nice. So I'm gonna pair from Fandango. Let's do it. With Bone Shakers and Fidel. What a blast! Am I red? The wine. Am I red? Yeah, a little bit. Oh. <laughs> so if I ever do a video and my face is super red, you know that I've been drinking. I'm not depressed. I've just been pairing wine with games. This is Noel, and by all means, you should. I think you're like the only person on the planet doing this. Noelle is ahead of a curve. She has done the <laughs> impossible and created a niche within a market that is so saturated, both wine and gaming, that it's hard not to be impressed by what you're doing. And lay it all out. So wineandgamepairing.com and then Instagram is wineandgamepairing and Twitter is winegamepairing. I couldn't fit the end. I take requests. Really? Yeah. She is your one and only expert on the planet. As far as we know, but I'm just gonna leave it at that. Yeah. Okay, anyways, thanks. I'm Kurt. This is Noel. Till next time. Bye. <laughs>